are beginning the painting process. Here is the wonderful slab of wood. There is a bottle of clear gesso. This is a giant bottle of odorless turpentine, which is much better because it doesn't smell as bad, but as you can see, still fairly dangerous. And of course here we have one new box of oil paints because for a while I hadn't been able to find my other paints, a new tube of white. Where the devil is it? But I also here have this old bag full with a rag, gotta have a rag full of paints. These are like my old paints that I have been using, which I just found yesterday in the storage unit, so that's pretty cool. And here is a lovely palette, which is probably not going to be used anymore. So I'm very happy to have these old paints back, in spite of the fact that I had bought these new ones, for the simple reason that... These have a better selection, like mono orange, very nice. Naples yellow is my favorite, especially with Turner, and it hardly ever shows up in these sets. And here's a giant yellow. Ho <laughs> ho! Could make like 20 out of this yellow. And you know, what else is there? Oh, random funny pot. Okay. Ah, here we go. Talo blue. Very nice dark blue. Um, what in the world is that? Okay. Oh, another titanium white. Here's a nice sort of terra vert. That's a good color. I'm glad to have. And... Yeah, I don't know, lots of different colors, but I also have another bag here with colors, and I'm still not very mobile, which makes it really hard to do this video, but I'm still gonna try. Here is a half-finished plein air painting that doesn't look like much so far, because I never went back to finish it, because it was high up on a weird mountain somewhere and we never went back there. Uh, what are we looking for? Let's see. More rags. Yeah, this is the ones I'm excited about. This color here. Manganese blue. Very good for that sky. Oh, this is a natural turpentine product that's Less toxic than that, but slightly less effective, but good for plein air painting, which is plain t painting in nature. Because if you do want to rinse off your brush a bit in nature, you're not contaminating anything. But, you know, like I said, I only use it when I'm in plein air painting mode. Cobalt, wonderful color. Cobalt blue is a nice color too. Here is a lovely cadmium green. Very happy about that. These were wonderful, fairly expensive oils that I got. All the other ones are like mid-range, you know. But I do have a few that actually were very pricey and this Rembrandt was one of them. Nice, very light gray. And where is my... Ah, this is the one I was looking for. Prussian blue. If I had to pick two favorite colors, it would be... Naples yellow and Prussian blue for some reason. I just really like what you can do with those colors. And it's the reason why I am glad that I found my, you know, buckets full of weird old paints and stuff before I really got started in earnest here. But you know, I'll still use those. I'll use anything that I have to use or want to use. 
But what I have to do now is put all these colors away somewhere, somehow. And I have to actually gesso the wood. And what I have opted to do, due to the darkness of the scenery, is just put a clear gesso on it. And what clear gesso will do is it will allow... It will not white it out like almost all other canvases are always white. It will allow it to remain wood looking. And then you paint on top of that and that makes it really cool. I've did it on one or two other pieces. I think two other pieces during the Turner project, especially ones that had like that were set at night or had some darkness to them and I personally think they came out really awesome. It doesn't work for every project. For, for a crazy nighttime dramatic project I think it'll do very well and that's that over there. So um, I'm going to get ready to do that Ugh. right now. With that and my super brush and water. And I'm going to pretty much stop because I cannot do both these things at once. And bye bye.